The best way to learn English and speak it is to actually practice it. They say that the best way to learn a language is through immersion. I know that many of you do not live in a country where the spoken language is English. I have come up with a solution to this problem. I have developed a system of learning English right from the comfort of your own home with me. I have decided to create conversations that you would not necessarily hear in the classroom, but would hear in everyday life. When you are exposed to these kinds of conversations, your English fluency will increase tremendously. In this video, we will take a look at a couple of conversations. I will give you a chance to try to understand the conversations, learn the vocabulary, and practice speaking in the conversations. Trust me, this is the best way to learn. First, I will play the conversation without subtitles. See how much you can understand. Don't get frustrated. After the conversation plays, I will play it again with the subtitles. This way, you can see what you were able to understand. What game are you playing? I don't know. Just some random game that I saw on an ad when I was playing another game. And you downloaded it? Yeah, it looked interesting. Do you like it? I actually do. You don't stick with games for very long, do you? Not really. I play them so much when I first get them that I often get bored of them. Then find another and get hooked on that one. Do you delete the old ones you don't play anymore? Most of them. I need to save storage on my phone. How much storage do you have on your phone? I think about 128 gigabytes. Not bad. Yeah, but if I don't delete the apps I'm not using, it slows my phone down. Yeah, that happens to my phone too. How often do you clean out the apps you don't use? I should do it more often, but I would say about once every three months or so. Yeah, the problem is that it takes too long to look through everything and find what you aren't really using anymore. Yeah, and also there are some apps that you rarely use, but need to keep. I get what you mean. I've got plenty of those. How much were you able to understand? Now let's listen to the conversation again with the subtitles. What game are you playing? I don't know. Just some random game that I saw on an ad when I was playing another game. And you downloaded it? Yeah, it looked interesting. Do you like it? I actually do. You don't stick with games for very long, do you? Not really. I play them so much when I first get them that I often get bored of them. Then find another and get hooked on that one. Do you delete the old ones you don't play anymore? Most of them. I need to save storage on my phone. How much storage do you have on your phone? I think about 128 gigabytes. Not bad. Yeah, but if I don't delete the apps I'm not using, it slows my phone down. Yeah, that happens to my phone too. How often do you clean out the apps you don't use? I should do it more often, but I would say about once every three months or so. Yeah, the problem is that it takes too long to look through everything and find what you aren't really using anymore. Yeah, and also there are some apps that you rarely use, but need to keep. I get what you mean. I've got plenty of those. Now it's your turn to speak. I will remove the voice of the other speaker 
in the conversation. I want you to say these parts out loud. The more you practice speaking out loud, the more fluent you will speak. Let's get started. What game are you playing? And you downloaded it? Do you like it? You don't stick with games for very long, do you? Do you delete the old ones you don't play anymore? How much storage do you have on your phone? Not bad. Yeah, that happens to my phone too. I should do it more often, but I would say about once every three months or so. Yeah, and also there are some apps that you rarely use, but need to keep. Are you going to the wedding? I'm not sure yet. I would need to ask for a few days off work and I don't know if my boss will let me take off. Do you have any vacation days saved up? Yeah, but the company is really busy in September. He hardly ever lets anyone off during that time. But it's your sister's wedding. Don't you think he will make an exception? I'm gonna talk to him. I hope he has a little flexibility. You've been such a reliable worker and have been there for so many years. Yeah, I know. Take the wedding invitation with you when you go ask him so that he can see that it's true. Good idea. I know your sister would be so disappointed if you weren't able to make it. She will be devastated. I know she's understanding, but this is one of the biggest milestones of her life. Tell me about it. Well, wishing you lots of luck. When are you going to ask him? Probably tomorrow. Call me after you talk to him and let me know what he said. If he approves it, let's book our flights to go together. I will. How much were you able to understand? Now, let's add the subtitles so you can check. Are you going to the wedding? I'm not sure yet. I would need to ask for a few days off work and I don't know if my boss will let me take off. Do you have any vacation days saved up? Yeah, but the company is really busy in September. He hardly ever lets anyone off during that time. But it's your sister's wedding. Don't you think he will make an exception? I'm gonna talk to him. I hope he has a little flexibility. You've been such a reliable worker and have been there for so many years. Yeah, I know. Take the wedding invitation with you when you go ask him so that he can see that it's true. Good idea. I know your sister would be so disappointed if you weren't able to make it. 
she will be devastated. I know she's understanding, but this is one of the biggest milestones of her life. Tell me about it. Well, wishing you lots of luck. When are you going to ask him? Probably tomorrow. Call me after you talk to him and let me know what he said. If he approves it, let's book our flights to go together. I will. Now it's your turn to speak. Remember to say your lines out loud. This is a great opportunity for you to practice. Are you going to the wedding? Do you have any vacation days saved up? But it's your sister's wedding. Don't you think you will make an exception? I hope he has a little flexibility. You've been such a reliable worker and have been there for so many years. Take the wedding invitation with you when you go ask him so that he can see that it's true. I know your sister would be so disappointed if you weren't able to make it. I know she's understanding, but this is one of the biggest milestones of her life. Well, wishing you lots of luck. When are you going to ask him? Call me after you talk to him and let me know what he said. If he approves it, let's book our flights to go together. If you practice conversations like these for just five minutes a day, every day, then you will learn to speak English fast. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Click on the little bell so you receive a notification when I upload new videos. This way, you can learn even more English with me. Thanks so much for watching. You all are super amazing. See you next time. Ciao, Blabanitos.